Hello everyone, let us start uh, with the next lecture that considers uh, what is the transfer uh, function of the unit delay element. So, let us think as follows. We have a already known unit delay, so unit delay element or zero order hold element or zero order hold and this element is the main element that we use when we realize the backshift operator in other words we are asking what is the transfer function of the backshift operator So let us look at the following picture. Xk plus 1 goes into backshift of the rater and shifts the signal backwards for 1. So if we take the Z transform of this expression. What do we get? And also that transform of x of k. <coughs> Excuse me. So what do we get? We get the following. That z transform x k plus 1 is going to be z x of z minus z x zero and if this is applied to the q minus one that's operator it yields x of z in other words if we take that x of zero is equal zero we will take and obtain that x z x z q minus 1 is equal x of z this leads to the conclusion that q minus 1 operator is equal 1 by z therefore we obtain in a simple way in a simple way the transfer function of the backshift operator function of the backshift operator shift operator So why it's important for us to have that? You remember that we were doing a lot of realizations. So we get a some difference equation that we want to realize. In other words, we have a discrete system given as uh, x of k plus 1 equal 2x of k plus 3u of k y of k is equal 5x of k and we are interested in state space realization of these of these system so how do we do it so we claim the following u of k it's the box here which is just gain element 3 from here gets summed into the 
another signal and generates x of k plus 1. Hits the backshift operator, generates x of k, and it's fitted back by the gain and amplified by the gain tool to generate this signal here. So we have here, here construction, we have construction of this signal. Finally, this gets multiplied by 5, and we obtain y of k. How we realize that we were just having the backshift operator or zero order hold or unit delay element here in our realization. And we know if we take a transfer function of this system just by looking at that y of k is going to be 3 multiplied 5, and then we know all transfer functions, all blocks in the main line here, so q minus 1, and 1 minus q minus 1 multiplied by 2. In other words, if we look at this expression, we will get y of k, 15, and here we have a transfer function that is q minus 1, 1 minus q minus 1 multiplied 2. In the same way, if we apply Z transform of this signal, the entire topology of this circuitry remains the same. And look what kind of transfer function we are going to obtain. Keep everything the same and put here z minus 1 or 1 by z. It's going to produce the same identical transfer function. And let us show this magic. So I'm planning y of z it's here. So again, just the simple algebra leads that y of z is going to be 3 multiplies 5 z minus 1 1 minus 2 z minus 1 15 here here is the z here is 1 minus 2 z minus 1 so we have here 15 z minus 2 which is the transfer function and if we look at this expression here we have the same transfer function but expressed in the terms of the backshift operator but this and this transfer function are the same, providing that q minus 1 is 1 by z. So just specify 1 by z here, and you will get this term here. So essentially, this shows that these two systems are identical.